Hey guys, welcome to episode 12 of Mandy Pine Cone Crafts. I'm Amanda, your host. Today is March 20th, 2016. Um, it's been about a week and a half since I recorded, I think a little over. Um, so I think going forward, I'm going to try to do every two weeks. Every week is with my work schedule in the next, um, three or four months is not going to work. Um, we, we're getting into what we call the lovely 100 days of hell, where everybody's coming in to buy everything for their home, um, improvement projects while the weather's nice, so depending on when weather starts to change for us, um, different people will be coming in we'll start getting busier so it's not going to be a lot of crafting I'm gonna want to come home and just go to bed and <laughs> not want to pick up my needles or whatever I'm working on um, so I'm what I decided I'm gonna go to every two weeks more or less um, but it all depends on the work schedule I think I'm gonna record the Saturday that I have a, off of my weekend and the Friday of the following work week for me because my work weeks go um, Saturday through Friday so that will place it about two weeks apart um, so we'll see how that works I am going I am planning on doing a couple more episode uh, recording again with my friend Michael who is the game Inner podcast um, we got a lot of re feedback of that people liked seeing us um, together so that will be happening um, I am in a new location I've spent a portion of two days um, cleaning out my craft room taking putting things where they actually belong and moving things around because how it was set up before I didn't have a really a spot where I could just sit down on the floor um, and read or whatever every all the um, floor space was taken up by um, either the desk or the table or things like that I will post pictures probably at the end if not here um, of what it actually the full room looks like I've got the four different angles um, because yeah that I will post so there's that um, I do have a couple finished objects this week I've actually got to go stand up and get one or two behind me but the first is my show note show note guru socks which are for my friend Tanya who does my lovely show notes for me so thank you Tanya for doing that I will get these in the mail to your boyfriend this week so you can have them when he visits uh, they are a 72 stitch um, vanilla sock I use the uh, French vanilla cappuccino sock or vanilla cappuccino sock by um, CC who is Java Pearl for to get the placement of her heels because her feet are considerably longer than mine because these are sock blockers made for my feet and they are good two inches longer than sock blockers so they don't quite fit but I've got two I was here last when you guys saw them last so I finished the sock I think on Wednesday night because most of last week and this week it was I was not in just in the mood to knit I wasn't working on anything really I did finish a couple books um, almost perfect finding perfect chasing perfect and um, there's a wedding one in there by Susan Mallory they're the first three and a half books of her full scope full go old set um, I'm just started the first uh, the fourth which I think I'm about a chapter in I will both listen to and read if I've got both versions of it uh, a lot of 
the, my longer series, I have both the audio, uh, the audible version and the Kindle version, so I can switch back and forth between the two, which is nice when I'm knitting and stuff. I can listen or at work on my lunch break, listen to the book, and then pick up where I left off when I got home. So there's that. Um, I also finished one second. I put them away. I put them away. I forgot to grab them. I finished two Voodoo, Voodoo Love Me's. This, the first one is the Snow White colorway from um, Cubby Cake Yarns. Um, this is on her sprinkles base, and ah, you can see it sparkles a little bit. Um, so I've got this one done. When I open the bag to start this one, because this is I throw, I have a bag that my toys live in, which has a zippered bag, no handle, and a notion that has all the eyes, the stuffing, my needles that I use, the crochet hooks and things like that that I'll need for the toys live in this. Um, I've thrown the mini skein, the extra that I got of the Snow White in the bag earlier um, when I got it because I knew I wanted to make a Who Do You Love Me out of it because I've got three other ones in these two. I've got Cinderella, Belle, and Ariel which as you saw live back behind here on the shelf. This is um, Cuppy Cake Yarns Anna. I've got to do Jasmine and Elsa still because I've got the colors in the bag. They, they're simple, little, quick. They take a day and a half because I think I finished socks Wednesday. I started these Monday, finished the socks Wednesday, finished this guy Wednesday, finished this guy last night. So. They're, they still need Mel's, but they're done in my book. Um, woven, ends woven in and stuff, so they will go back on their shelf. It is a pattern by Susan Claudina. They are knit on size 1, 2.25. I use Clover DPNs for my toys, so that's they're, it's the only thing I knit DPNs on are the toys because they just get too fiddly, fidgety to do magic loop with. Um, so the needles always live in, in the bag. So there's the finished objects. I also finished um, a couple squares on my second um, mitered square blanket. I'm just using a basic mitered square pattern um, and 31 stitches. I've got, I'm working from the center out and my lines I'm actually getting so they all meet in the center. I finished this square here which is Fiber Stash, Twinkle Toes, and the Pumpkin Princess colorway which is the leftovers from my Abigail shawl. I finished, I did Doc, Juliana's Fiber Carousel, and Luc or Luc Lucid Sock in the Carousel color and happy. Well, I meant to cast on Doc here, but I cast them off on here so I had to switch. So I have, um, I've got an extra of Snow White which is going here and then Grumpy will go in here and then I'll fill in this corner and this corner with my own mini. Minis for things I've made myself. I'm not counting the Voodoo You Love Me as a mini project, um, as a project that I knit on because it's not enough of it. It's like a, a shawl, a pair of socks, or whatever, or I do in fingering sweaters. They'll go up the corner. And it's going to be a square blanket. I'm not, because that's going to be my center, which is the, um, Gang by Love Nuts that the lovely Brandy had dyed up for us 
for Christmas. So I did four of those blocks in the center and then I'm going to take minis and fill in here. So in the corners will be mine. And the bag is a stitch together 4D bag. Um, you can find Amanda on Etsy. She should be up doing an update in her shop soon. I just don't know when. Um, I know she's had some issues. So we'll see. Um, so the next thing in my lovely Tangled Skin CA bag, which this is her shawl size, and there's a coupon code Pinecone15 or Mandy Pinecone15 um, in the Ravelry group. Here, give me one second. I will get the right. It is, yeah, Pinecone 15 for 15% off anything in her shop, 15 or $10 or more. She's got some really nice stitch markers, new sets of stitch markers in the shop uh, on birthstones. At some point, I will pick up a garnet set, but not right now. Um, I've got one sleeve, two sleeves, and I'm working on the second sleeve. I've got... I'm sitting, I don't know, let's see, I've got about uh, an inch and a half of the garter panel and then the cuff to do. So on that, that should be done in the next week, hopefully. I just haven't been in the mood to work on it, so I'm not. I'm not, I'm the type of person that I'm not going to force myself to knit on something that has no appeal to me at that second. I know I'll fall back in love with a project at some point. Um, and then Friday, yeah, Friday night I cast on a new pair of socks, which is living in another stitched together 4G bag. I am, it is knit out of the white birch fiber. Nothing says screw you like a rainbow. Um, I've got the cuff done and then a, almost a full repeat down of the color down the leg. I'm really loving how the rainbow looks and I really want a sweater's quantity of the teal in here. I don't know why. I have to, I've got one, two, three, four, four sweater quantities that I have to knit up before I can, before I'm letting myself buy more. I am drinking Fruits of Paradise by David C. Out of a lovely mug that I picked up yesterday from David's, um, my friend uh, Jen of the Uncreative Crafter podcast and Storm Post on Instagram and Ravelry came, drove the lovely two out almost two hours to come visit um, Michael and I yesterday, and we went yarn shopping. She really wants a skein of this. Nothing says screw you like a rainbow. And one of my local yarn stores um, actually does a lot of business with local dye, indie dyers, so I can, um, instead of ordering online, I can just go to the store and pick up, um, pick it up. So they've got the white birch, they have, um, fiber stash, they've got Wonderland yarns that is, um, dyed in Brado Borough, Vermont, um, you can, I can get a lot of Green Mountain Spinnery, things like, um, and they have Round Mountain something now, and they're adding new line, um, dyers each, every month or so. It's a relatively new shop. They've been open, I think, since the beginning of November. I I've gone in a couple times and picked up yarn. I picked up, the first time I went in, I picked up a skein of Plymouth 
speckles yarn in the crayon color um, which is uh, which is sitting over here in my yarn storage so she came up she um, asked about right after I recorded um, when my next weekend off because I get one a month um, so she could come visit because we've been trying to plan something since last fall when we met up at Vermont Sheep and Wool and then I'm going to see her again um, at New Hampshire Sheep and Wool which is the 14th and 15th of May um, both Michael and I have taken May at least Saturday off to drive over and um, spend the day there so we I will try to get some we'll try to get something recorded from the sheep and wool festival but we'll see because yeah we have a tendency not to want to record when we get together because we're just too busy doing other things so we've gone she's driven up we met um, at Starbucks so we could grab coffees there was a little miss a little bit miscommunication of which Starbucks and what time between the three of us because I was planning I was the one planning on what we were doing so I'd, I told Jen um, they just said Starbucks um, at 9:30. Michael thought it was um, but he meant he had to leave his house at 9.30 to pick me up so we could go meet Jen and it's like, uh, so it was a little, it was a little, um, miscommunication there, but it was fine. We finally met up with her, we drove over to Must Love Yarn, um, where I picked up a couple, mini skeins and a hat kit. The hat kit is a Wonderland Yarns random hat, randomness hat kit. It is 300, uh, 138 yards of a worsted superwash merino. And I don't, oh, that is coming out right. It's, this is actually a little bit lighter. This is more of a greeny teal. You've got a purple and then you've got a charcoal. It comes with the pattern under the label and the hat and the yarn to do the hat so it's either going to be a hat for me or a hat for my husband depending on how oh, excuse me how he likes the hat as I knit it up because that's going to be one of the next things I cast on because I just it's so soft and squishy I also picked up a couple um one twisted tree mini skein this is love potion or love yeah love potion update 9.2 and it's not showing up it's not showing up right it is a much brighter magenta pink um and then the lemonade disco lemonade and that's the pink isn't as purpley as you're seeing but yeah it's michael and jen were surprised i didn't walk out with a full size version of this. Um, I liked, I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone. As you can see, um, pink is my favorite color. So I'm trying to buy less pink, more of other colors because not everything can be in pink, I'm told, but I don't believe it. Um, so from there we, um, went down to Church Street, which is a pedestrian mall here in Burlington. Um, it has a lot of local shops, plus a lot of, um, a couple of the um, smaller national stores. Um, it has Macy's, I can, um, L.L. Bean, um, i trying to think, I, it's got both Tivana and David. So we, I'd sent the last package I sent to Jen from Michael and I, I put in a bunch of teas from David's for her. So she wanted to go and pick up some of the teas that we sent that she liked. So we ended up at David's. I picked up the 
mug here, which is a one of their color changing. Actually, you can see in here. The flowers here, when it's warm, go from like a turn um, from a pinky black to the pink, and then the stems are the change cut to the green from this dark pinky blackish or magenta color. Um, as the cup heats and cools, so I re I have my um, winter collection mug is a, also one of the color changing. They had a sale going where if you bought one of the mugs and one of the rainbow tins, you could get it for thirty dollars. The rainbow tins are normally fifteen. The cups are twenty three normally. And I knew I wanted this cup. I looked at it last time I was in and then they had a bunch of them. So I talked myself out of buying it. And when I went in this time, they said it was the last one they had. So it had to come home with me. Because it's also got the infu- it has um, an infuser that sits on top and then a cover, which the infuser is actually sitting on the desk on the other side of me on. Um... So I also picked up Jumping Monkey Tea, which is um, a matte tea, with, um, so it says with four flavor, four types of coffee beans, carbo, white chocolate, and chicory, this rich and nutty yerba matte is seriously exotic way to get energized. I got a sample of this from... Lynn in a energizing tea set that she sent me in a swap last fall and I really liked it and I just haven't got a chance to pick up a full size of it yet so they had that one so I had to pick that up and then I picked up more of the raspberry cream pie and the melon drop that I picked up last time because I'm out of them already I just picked up sample sizes of them Because I drink probably two or three cups of tea when I'm home. I try not to drink soda, so I switch to teas or juices or things like that. Um, so from David's, we walk down Church Street to another local yarn shop, which is half fabric, half yarn. Um, looked around, didn't see anything I ha we had I had to have so I didn't pick up anything there um, I do have to go back at some point um, and pick up more of my um, pink that goes on the inside of my DPN holders but I have some for now and just didn't want to wait to have it cut because there was a gentleman standing in line that was getting things cut so I just didn't feel like dealing with it to the, um, them and then we drove out to Williston, which is probably about 15 minutes from downtown, um, to another yarn shop, which is Northeast Fiber Arts. They specialize in a lot of fiber and a couple of, um, and a lot of the bigger yarn brands, but they also just started carrying Addy needles, so I picked up, um, or this just started carrying the sock rockets because I picked up my Addies there before with the sock rockets. So I picked up a US two and a half, which is a three millimeter um, that I needed for the ribbing on my sweater because when I cleaned up the craft room, I somehow lost my two, uh, US two and a half that I was using. I have no clue where I put it. I've looked for it, can't find it. I knew where it was before I started cleaning. That's the problem. Um, so from there, Michael had to go to work. So Michael left us. So we went to AC Moore in Williston. Um, AC Moore is a lot like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, things like that. It's a big box um, craft store. Because Jen hadn't been in it. And then I, I wanted to take a look at a couple things, see if there's anything I needed. Well, the first thing that jumped into my basket was this lovely panda ribbon 
which is not even for me. I am sending it to the lovely Amanda Panda because pandas are hers and it screamed her name. And then somehow we ended up in the bead section. And I let Jen talk me into buying a couple beads to make a couple progress keepers because why not? They're pink, they're sparkly. The first one is a bead that's an ombre pink fuchsia color. It goes from the dark color and then you have light and into the um, silver to make progress keeper. It helps if you have lobster claws, which I forgot to pick up. And then I also picked up a couple fake pearls and Swarovski crystals to make a couple, um, to mix with this, to make a couple, a uh, set of stitch markers. Well, from there, we ended up going to Panera for lunch, which was nice. We sat down, enjoyed lunch together, um, and Jen got to open help her package of minis that um, I put together for her because I was finishing blanket squares because hers take two and a half grams, or two grams. And my new ones are taking about the same amount. So when I split up things for five gram minis, I still have half of it left. So, um, which is good because with some of my bigger minis that I already have, I'm going to split up um, half of it for my blanket and then I'm going to give half of it to Michael. So he has some minis from different people that I've got minis from. Um, so there's that. Um, what else? And then I ended up coming home um, after lunch because I was just exhausted and slept for two hours and then did um, VKN. Um, I've moved my VKN from Sunday nights to Wednesday nights because Sarah of the Canadian Miss Knitter podcast is now doing hers on Saturday nights um, instead of Wednesdays. So between Michael and I, one of us should be off. If we're not, the lovely Tanya has already said she'd put up a link for us. But this way, it's we can try to get a couple more people to jump on. Um, so if you're free on Wednesday night, um, depending, I'm going to try to start them by 7.30. I won't um, say it will be 7.30. It might be a little bit after that, but um, there's that. Oh, the other stash I got um, yesterday morning before Michael picked me up, my mail came. And the Minding My Minders on Facebook is switching. It's a Facebook group that does post pictures of needle minders or to make or pictures to make into custom bottle cap needle minders that's where I get most of mine from and then every so often she does um, some pre-made ones well she she is selling the business to a friend of hers so she was clearancing out a bunch of the pre-made ones the image so I had to place an order because they were on sale and I got I think seven all together um, I put four aside for friends because I ordered things because um, I knew they would like it but these are the three I kept which is a blingy minion a blingy um, Cinderella and then Minnie Mouse I also got a blingy Little Mermaid, Ariel, and then another minion, a shoe, a glass slipper of Cinderella's, and then one that has Belle, Cinderella, and Sleeping Beauty on it, which I gave to Jen. So there's that. They'll end up on the board behind me with the rest of my needle minders now that I've shown them to you guys. So that has been really what's going on here. Um, every, I hope everybody has a good two weeks. I will see you next time. Bye.